Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about the signs that's going to make sure you're going to be a successful entrepreneur. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Mohan Pover. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about buying existing businesses versus starting them from scratch. I'm here to show you you can do that even if you have um, not a good credit or if you don't have much capital to begin with. And if you have existing business, I think that's the best way to grow, growing by acquisitions. But uh, yeah, those who are not new to this channel, uh, I don't know, this is another video in this kind of like intimate um, way of doing things. Um, something happened to my camera, so I'm sorry in advance. So I'm, but I'm like, like I said in my other video in this series, I'm committed to, to do those videos and post every day. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And I don't care if the quality is lower. I mean, I hope I'll add value to you anyway. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, check the description below. There are links to learn more about the space of buying businesses and for you to give me ideas on topics that you'd like me to talk about. Um, so definitely check the description below and let me know. But I want to get back to today's topic, which is more about what are the signs that are, are going to make sure you're going to be a successful entrepreneur. And as someone who's been involved in many businesses over the last few years, who's buying businesses for a living over the last few years, um, I'm, I'm certain that success leaves clue. Um, like I think Tony Robbins saying that, Jim Rohn, all those guys, right? Success leaves clue and there are only few things that you need to focus on follow in order to be successful yourself. And I want to focus on a few more very, very, very important things that I think are probably the, the most crucial in the space of becoming successful. And eventually, if you want to follow this, uh, this channel uh, path, it's about buying businesses and growing businesses by acquisitions. So today, what, one of the main thing I want to talk about is coachability and the fact that the most successful people that I've met, they probably pay the most for coaches and mentors and courses and they're probably the most humble and coachable that I've seen. Um, like literally the most successful people that I've met, they're the most humble about their success and the more they think that they don't know, like literally as, as they say, the, the biggest thing that I learned in life is that I know nothing about nothing or something like that. I forgot the, the exact quote, right? But uh, you know what I mean. It's like those who are the most successful, they're the most humble about their success and about their process and, and path. And that's what I saw. And, and even if you look at the most successful athletes in the world or the most successful anything in the world, like take LeBron James, for example, they're saying he's spending a few millions a year on different coaches and mentors and, and psychologists and, and athletes to help him. And it just makes you understand that there's no, you can't be successful and stop there. You got to always continue to grow to figure out and understand what's the best version you can become and what's the, the best that you can do. And it's many times hard to do it on your own. Yes, you can push yourself behind your comfort zone a little bit, but only someone from the outside who's objective about things. Many times you don't even need to be that much in, in, in I guess, higher levels than you. It's many times just about having an objective, uh, I guess, mindset on you and just giving you an objective advice because you can never give yourself objective advice. I guess you can try, but it's never as objective as someone who's coming from outside who's just not as emotionally involved in yourself as you. And it's really about deciding to remove your ego and empty your cup. Like if you find someone who's living the life that you want to get the results that you want, be humble about it and be willing to empty your cup and go and listen to them. And, and if they're telling you something, go and execute it immediately. Like some of my mentors, I think the biggest reason that I was able to sometimes partner with my mentors is the reason that I executed on everything that they told me to do. And I tried to execute it like 10 times the, the, the amount of effort uh, that they gave me. So if they tell me to do something and even give me an advice, not like, hey, you got to do this or that, just like, hey, I would do that if I were you. And I would just go and execute like, like crazy. And I'll come back to them and I'll show them, hey, look, you told me to do A, but I tried it A. I tried also B and C. And here are the results that I got. What do you think? And when they see that kind of commitment and that, that kind of action, they are much more willing to give you more advice and much more committed to help you as well. And I think you need someone to be there next to you during your failures and during your success. Literally, when you fail, you want someone who's been in your shoes to, to literally give you some love and tell you, hey, that's okay, that's part of the process, I've been there too. And literally give you a, a, an internal hug, as, 
as they say, you know, and, and really show you love and show you that it's okay. And yes, you want someone to be there with, with you when you celebrate as well. And another thing, I, I think you, in my opinion, at least personally, I'd rather pay someone for mentorship than go and find someone to do it for free. Just because first of all, when I pay, I just know that I'm 10 times more committed and there's 10 times more chances that I'll take action. Uh, versus if I didn't pay for that person time. And also if I didn't pay for that person time, I'll be, I'll feel much less comfortable to ask that person questions and waste his time versus if I paid him money that we agreed on in advance for his time and then I'll be more comfortable to be involved and ideally make it win-win for him as well. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's like think about workouts, right? It's, it's always good to have different me metaphors or, or stories in different sectors. But think about working out. Um, it's so like, like when you pay for a personal trainer, you're committed. You're going to show up. There's higher chances that you're going to show up for the practice if you pay the personal trainer and if he'll charge you if you visit or not versus if you're just telling yourself, hey, I'm going to work out. Unless obviously you got to a point where it's a habit and you're already doing it for a long time, it's really, really hard to commit to a new habit, especially if it's very outside your comfort zone, like in what we're trying to do, which is buy businesses. Like when I started in this space, there's no way that I'll take half of the action that I took unless I had the accountability and, and the right system and the right support. And I had to pay a small fortune to that, but it's, it's worth every second of that. Otherwise, I would need to spend many more years to learn some of the things that I learned now. And I know that I cut my learning curve. I had a much faster learning curve versus if I wouldn't pay that much for, for coaching and mentorship. Another thing that I saw in some of the most successful people that I've met is resourcefulness. And resourcefulness, is it's not resources because everyone got the resources. I think that you can now learn probably everything out there. Um, literally, I mean, there's so many free articles and books and videos and all that stuff and even courses, even if you pay a little bit for a course, I think it's, it's part of the resources out there, but it's not enough in order to actually get results. You need the accountability, but you need to be resourceful yourself. You need to go out there, be willing to ask, be willing to fail, be willing to knock on doors, be willing to figure it out. If that makes sense, no matter what happens to you, if you have an excuse, if you have something happens. You need to think with yourself, just figure it out. You gotta figure it out yourself. Figure it out, just do it, just figure it out. It just literally, for me personally, I found out that the more simple I'll make it in my mind in regards to success and moving forward and progressing, the easier it is. And with progressing in life and being resourceful, I think that the sentence that says, just, just figure it out, it's probably one of the most strongest sentences that you can literally affirm to yourself, like put it into your affirma affirmations and tell yourself, hey, no matter what happens, it's my responsibility to figure it out and find a way. And unless you're willing to take the resp responsibility, no, no matter what you're going to do, no coach, no training, nothing will help you. Obviously, yes, you need the coach, you need the training, you need the accountability. Uh, but unless you're resourceful yourself, it's going to be really, really hard for you. Because, I mean, shit will hit the nail eventually. Shit will come. There will be challenges. The wind will come. And unless you're committed and resourceful, I mean it's going to be really hard to progress. I mean, shit will happen, guys. I don't care what business you have. I had businesses where I had to shut down. Like I said, the business, I had more than business like that, that I have to shut down. I had to shut down uh, because whatever the reasons, and I can dive into it in the future, I, I was basically relying on one source of income or that employee, whatever. I can, if, if you want, I, I'm happy to, to expand on why I had to shut down seven-figure businesses. Uh, but it's like you can blame your, I guess, the environment and say, hey, it's not my fault. It's not that. But I decided, hey, I'm going to take a responsibility and I'm going to be resourceful. And that's what led me to, to continue with my life and do stuff and do shit. And now get to a point where this is what I'm doing for a living, I'm looking daily to buy seven and eight figure businesses. And it's because I was, was resourceful. And if you're going to take everything from me right now, I'll find a way to get back on my feet really, really fast. Just because that's the person that I became and you get to a point where literally this is part of your dna and it's who you are and you failing is just maybe a step in your journey but you will find a way to get up because this is who you are right now and you know it's really just about the price you're willing to pay and for me when i got into this space i was willing to pay any price i sent probably thousands of letters i talked to hundreds and thousands of people i had days when i had like 15 calls a day with 15 different business owners just to get deals going i'm talking about months of talking to business owners every single day 
just because I figured out this is numbers game and I don't care what it is. Maybe I don't have the best system. Maybe I don't have the accountability. I'll do whatever it takes to put myself out there and take action. And I know that when I'll have the, I'll have more deal flow, then I'll be able to come to the right mentor and pay him for the right system because I already have the bandwidth um, to work with and already did everything that I could to move forward. And it's just frustrating for me to see many people who, who watch this space of buying businesses for many, many months and they didn't take any action. They didn't send any letter. They didn't talk to any business owner. They didn't go to any event. They didn't go to any broker. And there's only so much you can do unless you're taking those actions. And yes, you got to have system to then find financing and find, I guess, figure out the numbers and figure out if the deal is a good deal and figure out the due diligence and all that stuff. Obviously, you need to understand that. But unless you start to take action initially, and obviously, I guess there, there, there are better ways than others to find deals and motivated sellers and filter the deals and all that. Uh, but if you don't have that and you don't have the money to pay for mentorship yet, Go and do whatever you can and everyone can go and pick his phone 20 times a day and schedule calls with business owners 20 times a day. And unless you're willing to do that or you're willing to go and save money and find a way to make money to get the mentors, then I guess you just don't, don't want it enough. And if you're not committed enough, I mean, like I said, you can either find an excuse of why it's not working for you or you can find an, a reason to continue. Um, that's it. That's, like I said, it's black or white. There's no gray here. You're either committed to your dreams or you're committed to your limitations and excuses. You either have stories or you have results. That's all. That's, that's all you have in life, guys. You either have the results or you have excuses. And you need to decide it yourself. Do I want to commit more to my limitations and excuses or am I committed to my goals? And uh, again, I guess it's a very small example, but like now my camera isn't working. I probably need to buy another new camera, uh, but I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm filming with my laptop right now and I hope there will be, I mean, if it's going to be good enough for you, I hope so. I don't know, but I'm doing those videos many times more for me than for you. It's about me committing to my journey and for this process. And who knows, maybe you're going to hate it. Maybe you're going to love it. I don't know. Um, I know that I've done everything that I could to make those videos. I'm committed to record seven videos today and I'll do it. I don't give a shit what happens and if the quality is going to be lower. So what? At least I, I tried and, and I know that I'm going to adjust and make the lessons and maybe hire someone or maybe buy a better camera or maybe, I don't know, maybe buy two more cameras and bring two cameras here. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to learn. Maybe I'm going to take a, a mentor who knows about this space better than me on how to record videos, how to um, make a better channel. I'll do, I'll do whatever it takes. And that's why I, that's what I want you to do as well. And the reason I'm doing that is the, I think one of the worst things that can happen to you in life is to watch someone with less ability, with less talent, who's living a better life than you guys, a better dreams than you guys. And I'm sure maybe, many of you maybe see me and say, hey, who's this guy, this fucking guy who don't even know English and is living a better life maybe. And that's what many times I see in other people who are literally almost billionaires who I think um, they're good people, they're humble, they're amazing, they're hard worker, but do I think they're more talented or more smart than me? No, um, but they're living a life that I still can't live. And that's what keeps waking me up. The fact that I know that I can be a better version. And another reason for me to wake up and be really motivated is the fact that I don't want to go to the end of my life and watch a movie of the person I could have been. They say that um, where, whatever life you live, imagine if you had a twin brother living another life, uh, your ideal life. And then when you're about to die, you're going to meet that person. Um, you want to make sure that that twin of yours isn't a better version of you, if that makes sense. I think if... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm able to tell that story in the best way, but I hope that makes sense. Every one of us have another twin living another life in a parallel universe, and he's living your ideal version of you. When you're going to die, you want to make sure that you're going to look at him and you say, hey, you're my twin. We did everything we could. We became the best version we could. We um, made the most contribution to the world, and there's no difference between us. Like literally, you didn't make more than me. You weren't more successful than me. You didn't have more contribution on the world with me or a better legacy than me. We're literally the same person because hell on earth would be to meet the person you could have been. That's what I live from. Um, I don't want to meet a better version that I could have been when I'll die. And that's what I think should wake you up in the morning, literally. Just the fact that knowing that you can be a better version should wake you up and put fire in your ass. And if you... 
if you don't have that, I mean, why the fuck you live for? Like, what, what do you live for? To be average? I don't want to be average. And I hope you don't as well. Um, so, yeah, I hope, uh, hope you like this video, guys. I'm sorry for the quality. Uh, but this is really just a video from my heart. And uh, I guess from some of the frustration that I had today. Uh, but it, I'm here to show that I'm committed to this. I'm committed to the channel. I'm committed to you. Um, and, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Moan Pobear here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video. There's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the, the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner Kyle Ellen and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sellers because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sellers. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we're potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program. If you never bought a business before, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, 
every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another $1 million. So don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business. Let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos. Some of the info I have here, I literally paid multiple six figures to learn. But the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in this space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel. Like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel, help me buy more businesses so I can help you buy yours as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.